Were you over it too? No, oh. I was right here because it makes no sense to clap. That's back what here. I was. I was wondering why I was doing that. What's up, guys? My name's Miles, and my name is Fez, and this is the Commodity. So today we're talking about Cadillac's future endeavors. They showed up to CES 2021 with some super cool ideas. They have a lounge style self-driving pod thing vehicle pod vehicle pod vehicle they have also a an aircraft i guess a, a self flying a, a floating floating flying vehicle. it's not floating it flies so obviously the flying vehicle is a little far-fetched it's a little out there but the pod isn't too far out of left field no it is a possible you know yeah it, it, it's a real possibility within the next four to ten years i would say it's yeah gonna, realistically it's, yeah. It, i mean as much as that's what ces has seemed to turn into is all these autonomous vehicles that there's no steering wheel there's no seats there's nothing like that for a driver uh and it's all self just like it's your it's your workspace it's your lounge space well so it's... like the pod they've got the interior designed uh, as, as if you were in your living room right kind of it's it's just a, a big couch like a, a sectional mm -hmm. i guess it looks super cool it's i would i i would be scared to Obviously, we need to sit in like regular cars that just drive by themselves before we get there. before we get there because I wouldn't get in one like that. I couldn't just lounge. Yeah, I want to be able to grab the wheel just in case. Right. Even though realistically, I'm much stupider than a car driving itself. Uh huh. Because I mean, it's so funny. I've always seen the argument. People are like, "Can you really trust a machine to keep you safe?" You think, you, you know, they're going to make you die or whatever the case may be. You know, it's going to cause wrecks and it's going to catch fire. It's like, do you realize how many cars catch on fire every year? Do you realize how many idiots are behind the wheel that are driving? How many accidents there are? Like, for every one electric vehicle accident or self-driving accident, there's probably thousands of right. people behind their wheel. Well, not to be fair, there's, there's probably a, a 1 to 100 self-driving car to non-self-driving car no it's probably like one to one hundred thousand okay so <laughs> that makes it worse for self-driving cars yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> but the point is if there's if it becomes 50 50 what are the odds that an accident's being caused by somebody not paying attention or any of these things versus somebody not driving the vehicle i think the odds are drastically higher which actually moves me to the other vehicle the the flying the vehicle. flying one okay so i think we're talking like light years in the future because what that thing is going to have to do all the vehicles that are in the air are communicating with each other right not just sensing each other yeah they are going to have to talk to the car in front of it or whatever you want to call it the flying car in front of it, the flying car behind it, and saying, I'm about to turn left, so they're aware, the front one's aware, and then your car then turns left. Well, so oddly enough, they've seemed to release more specs at CES on the flying contraption, contraption. than they did on the pod. Okay. They're expecting it to have like a 900 kilowatt. 900 kilowatt. That's like... That's, I think, the not the Porsche take. Uh, yeah, it's not a big. On. No, it's not a big battery. Yeah. And aside from it being that, that's, it's gonna that's lift gonna, what's vehicle? gonna power four motors. They're gonna have a motor on each. So so it's gonna be able to lift, and then fly. Is lift and I'm fly. assuming lifting a vehicle is more than propelling a vehicle. And they expect it to only go about 56 miles per hour in the air. And then it probably tops out at 30 miles in distance. Right. So they're, they're saying that it's going to be a super short distance. What would the... To get you to your pod. Wow, how rich are you? 
both of them are going to be super expensive. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, realistically, you could you you will be able to buy an autonomous driving Tesla. Pro, mo, they're going to come out with a twenty five thousand dollars Tesla, and when they come out with that, it's going to be autonomous driving. Yeah, it's going to have so all the safety. All the safety would features. you want to buy a? You're you're looking at like two million, probably more than that. You got to think. A, the pod by itself is going to be in the hundreds of thousands. Oh yeah, easily. And just to lounge in in your pod, I can lean my Tesla seat back if I need to take a nap. Yeah, I mean, and by I'm, the time that thing is possible, I'm guessing that Tesla and Reviton, or is that what it's called? Revion. Revion. And Reviton. And all these other, I think Reviton is a company. Reviton sounds cool. Yeah. But I think that all these car companies that are coming out with these different vehicles will have a version of this out for like 10 years before they even, Cadillac's going to go under by then. Yeah. I think Cadillac is actually struggling right now. I they are. Their, their sales aren't doing well at In all. fact, I think I've read recently that they're shutting down stores. I haven't read that, but I, I, I do I, know Cadillac's not what Cadillac was. Oh, you know, well, Cadillac never a, was what it was. It was for it a had, little while. It had it had its uh, prestigious outlook, I guess. But it. But this is why they come up with stuff like this. Was this is this an actual built thing, or is this just computer? animated pictures i'm gonna look at my phone for a second guys don't mind me i believe we're gonna is, i want to say he's st <clears throat> he's standing in front of it I, this i mean i would imagine Obviously this is at work. ces yeah i wouldn't think it works the door's open well they could have that might just be trans i don't know if that's a real thing no so in in the article uh that i read it's it's it has one door that opens three ways so like it's a fancy door i'm not gonna point to him because you guys wouldn't understand but like so so the door kind of like opens like this it doesn't it doesn't just pop up or pop sideways like the door is cut in three sections so so like this part comes up from the middle of the door up this part goes this way and then this part goes this way uh -huh. super Over complicated like yeah. why not just open the door yeah. or do like Tesla did learn from and, Tesla. and do the the flying actually that doors. was extraordinarily complicated when they did that those are super cool though You've oh seen yeah, yeah. I, I think it paid off in the end but realistically it had issues uh, so what they did so you know the sensors on the back of cars when you're backing up and they're beeping at you and stuff yeah. so the basically take sensors. that concept and they put it into the door so when it's opening up and it's coming out with the its wingish style doors gold wing doors it can sense the cars next to it and the problem was that they had they wanted that technology to work through metal so it cost just insane amounts of money and time to engineer like the amount of engineering it took for the model x or yeah the model x is insane and complexity like that is stupid and i think tesla learned that because that's why they went with the the model 3 mm -hmm. and the model y are extraordinarily similar right and they didn't go with something crazy special they realized hey we can make this wonderful car it can be similar because the model 3 is probably the best car on the market period yeah. period I'm not a fan of Cadillac. Oh, no. Either I think I. that not only, obviously, everyone knows they don't hold their value. Um, most of the cars we talk about don't hold their value. So that's not much to say. But, I don't know. Cadillac's just... The, so they're ish, they, they have so many issues. I'm not a fan of Cadillac. I've, I believe... Uh, and this is... They're doing exactly what they're getting us to do. They're getting us to talk about it. So people will talk about it. Exactly. I know. And this then, is then this they'll is sell just a few a, more Cadillacs. Yeah. It's just like Tesla shooting the, the buggies to the moon. It's to make money. Yeah. It's this just was just to, to make money. So. But 
does Cadillac have something? Do you think Cadillac will have something that will keep them relevant? Because the only thing that I see that is of relevance that I ever see that are commercials or anything, it's always the Escalade. Yeah. So is it worth it to you? Is it going to be something worthwhile? I don't know. I think it's far-fetched and it's going to be a long time before Cadillac gets there. It's going to be longer than other manufacturers. I mean, they're just now coming out with the Hummer. GM is just now coming out with a, the, a, a hybrid. Their main hybrid that they're pushing is the Hummer. I'm a fan of the Hummer. Oh, yeah. It's a thousand horsepower or whatever yeah. it is. No, I, I think that was a good step for them. But Cadillac... Cadillac stepping into something that that they obviously a, it's it's all GM, but Cadillac. Do they make a hybrid Escalade? I don't know. I know they made a hybrid uh, Tahoe. Yeah, I remember they made that a long time ago. Yeah. I haven't seen one since. Yeah, because they used to put the ugly well. lettering yeah, on the and side. It, of it didn't it. do well at all. They used it like a banner. They just yeah. put it on the side of it saying hybrid, and I think that's their first step is not start looking at that. They need to be pushing like stylish hybrids that get good gas mileage, that have great pickup, better than their V8s. That's their first step. So guys, would you buy a $100,000, $150,000? No, that's a stupid question. $250,000 Cadillac pod, because that's what it's gonna be called. It only makes sense. I'd rather just get a Would car. you buy a Cadillac pod that drives you around and you're lounging on your sectional car or would you buy a $25,000 plus TTNL Tesla that'll do the same thing so with that being said my name's Miles and my name is Fez thanks for watching guys peace out yo